How are you today, friends? I hope today is a great day for you. Welcome back to my series on tips for having healthy, mature hair. And if you're new here, I'm Dawn from Just Doing My Best. I'm here every week with a brand new video for women over 40 and women over 50 who just wanna look and feel our very best. And Lord knows, I do not have the same hair that I had 20 or 30 years ago, and I need to take really, really good care of it. So today I'm gonna to share with you some of my very favorite products for putting in your hair right before you blow dry. Are you following me on Facebook or Instagram at Just Doing My Best? If you are, you know that several months ago, we moved into an old farmhouse that we're renovating, and that's why I'm still making videos in my dining room. But as we get closer to making a room for me to make videos, I'm kind of loving the dining room now. So, I don't know. But it has definitely been an adventure. Did you see my last video about tips for healthy, mature hair, talking about deep conditioning? If you did, then I talked about a uh, line of products by Briogeo, and I talked about the their deep conditioning product. And one of their other products that I kind of mentioned in that video is their Farewell Frizz. This is wonderful for putting in your hair just a pea size amount, working it into the ends, maybe taking a wide tooth comb and running that through the ends of your hair right before you blow dry. I love this product so much. And all of the products that I'm gonna talk about, I will link in the description below this video. But this one is a blow dry um, protection and it has no sulfates, no silicones, no parabens. I'm telling you, the more that I look into products, the more I'm really, really trying hard to find, I'm trying hard to find more reasonably priced products. It's very difficult, I'm telling you, but I think that I've landed on a really good conditioner and shampoo from the drugstore. I'm super excited about that. When I find out whether or not I really, really love it, I'll let you know. But I'm really trying hard to stay away from the sulfates, the silicones, the parabens, especially the silicones. If you saw my video on detoxing your hair, you know, and definitely check out that video, you know that it is so important for us to stay away from silicone. Silicone, in a nutshell, I talk about it more in that video, but in a nutshell, silicone kind of seals that hair cuticle and it's supposed to be sealing in moisture and making your hair shiny, but what it does is it kind of almost locks the door of your hair so that nothing else can come in. So it's not receiving anything else when you have too many silicones. And it also makes your hair dirtier. It feels gummy. If you've ever noticed that your hair sometimes just feels really gummy and gross, it's all of the silicones. So watch that video, detox your hair, and try to find products that don't have any silicones. So this is a really good one to just put a little pea size amount in your hair and just really work it into the ends of your hair, take a wide tooth comb, and then blow dry. It's amazing for your hair. As you're growing, as you're learning, as you're finding better and better products for your hair, skin, nails, whatever it is, I wanna encourage you to occasionally go back and maybe try some of the things that you used to use, maybe a year ago, five years, 10 years, and see whether or not they are still good or give you a comparison. Does that make sense? So as you're growing, you might find something now that you think is fantastic and it makes your hair or your skin or your nails or whatever so healthy and you notice an, an, an a measurable difference and go back and check out some of those products and see and just say, oh gosh, I can't believe I used that or something that maybe you used to use and you go, wow, that actually was good and I didn't realize it and I just gave it up to try something new. You never know, but I'm gonna give you an example. So as I'm learning, as I'm growing, as I'm trying to find better and better products and let's face it, Technology is changing, science is changing, they're constantly coming out with better products, right? So 
I'm always wanting to try something new and I'm trying to find better priced products that still work. I went back to something that I was using and that I thought was amazing. And then I went back and I tried it again and I was like, oh, my hair feels so gross. So it was probably better than what I had been using, but not near as good as what I'm using now. So when I went back and I tried it, I was like, this is bad. My hair feels so gross. And they were products from Bumble and Bumble. So, so full of silicones. So was it better than what I had been using prior to that? Yes. Do I think it's as good as what I'm using now? I don't. And I was surprised by the ingredients. So you never know when you go back and you just kind of check on some of the things that you used to use. Maybe they were good, but maybe they were better than the product before that, but not near as good as what you're using now. And you may just be surprised. Maybe you'll have an oldie but goodie from a few years ago, and maybe you'll go back and go, oh my gosh, I have learned so much. I cannot believe I use that. And then we'll all just move on and try something else that's really great. So let me show you a couple more products that I'm loving right now for the health of my hair before I blow dry. So like I said, I'm constantly just trying new things and trying to see what's gonna be good. I love to put something to protect my hair in my hair before I blow dry. I told you about the Briogeo Farewell Frizz. I really like this as a leave-in um, conditioner and heat protectant. Like I said, just a pea size amount. I love it. The other two things that I'm loving, no surprise, are from Living Proof. I kind of use them interchangeably. One day I might use one, the next day I use the other. One of the things that I love is the Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray. This one says it's a conditioning detangling spray. So I might use this once or twice a week and then I use this one once or twice a week but I love them both. I find that I don't have a lot of hair so that I don't need to use a lot. Um, I don't have a lot of hair and it's very straight, so I don't need a, I don't have a need for a lot of product. So when I use the perfecting spray, I use like three squirts, that's it. If you have more hair than I do or your hair's longer, you might need a little bit more. But when it comes to using a product before blow drying, you've already conditioned, you probably did that in the shower. So you're just putting on just a little bit of something before you blow dry. Try less is more. Um, try a little less. And if you find that you need a little bit more, do just a little bit more the next time. But the Restore Perfecting Spray, I love. And then the other one that I'm absolutely loving from Living Proof is the 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. You don't need a lot of this 5-in-1 Styling Treatment, a lot like when I talked about this one here, a pea size amount. I don't need a lot. Um, like I said, I have... Uh, thin, straight hair. And another bonus to that is most of the time when I buy these products, most of the time I just buy the travel size. I don't need a lot when I'm using it anyway. I'm not washing my hair every single day. So one of these little um, two ounce containers lasts me a long, long time. So I save a little bit of money this way. But the 5-in-1 Styling Treatment, it polishes, so it makes it a little shinier. It strengthens conditioning, volume, and smooths your hair. So I love this so much. A little bit goes a long way. Again, you're just using a little pea size amount. Get it right in the ends, a wide tooth comb to kind of get it through and evenly distribute. I think that you're gonna love these for just something to condition and protect your hair before you blow dry. So I hope that you'll try these if you try them, I'm going to leave a link in the description below this video. Try them. Come back and let me know. I would love to know. And if you found something really good that works for you to put in your hair before blow drying, leave me a comment and let me know. And definitely check your ingredients for silicones. Anything that ends in C-O-N-E or C-O-N-O-L are going to be kind of code names for silicone, so definitely watch for that. I hope 
hope that you found this helpful and you had fun with me today. And if you did, please do me a favor, like this video, subscribe, share it with your friends, and definitely come back and see me next time. For now, friends, go out today and be blessed and do your best.